like Problem like to blitz about 90% of the time. No, no, it doesn't surprise me at all. You need to play with how you're comfortable. Some people like to sit in one defense and adjust out of it. Some people like to mix up their coverages. Whatever Beast Mode has been doing thus far has been working for him. You got to keep in mind, this is a kid, AJ, that has come back from 17 points two games in a row. That's unheard of. He is here to fight, and he has given everybody all that they can handle, and there's no quitting this kid from what we've seen so far. Beast Mode Mac, quick reminder, went 3-0 and oh in the online group stage. He will take the football right here to start the first half. Out of the gun, hands it off. He's got space. That's Isaiah Crowell. Crowell, plenty of time. Finally, Sean Taylor to make the tackle at the 26. RG, big gain there on that first run. Good early sign from Beast Mode. And when we got to talk to him yesterday and we asked him about drafting, he said the most important position for me is my halfback. That's a 91 overall Isaiah Crowell. So that's a very good item to run the ball with. And you see him taking advantage of him right away. Another handoff there out of the gun. And he is brought down one yard shy of the line of scrimmage. Very interesting, beating lights out, problem, and stick work all in the online group stage. This guy, Beast Mode Mac, why is he coming into this thing with such a good record, fourth overall in the leaderboards uh, on Xbox One for draft champions? Why is he coming in this thing kind of an underdog? Well, he's coming in as an underdog because we haven't seen him on this big stage yet, AJ. But the thing is, he's been competed for a long time. This is a guy that made top 32 in the Madden Challenge in 2012, top 32 in 2013. And then when you get out of your groups beating a guy like Problem, that's got to do wonders for your confidence. So, though he may be an underdog in other people's eyes and Beast Mode's eyes, he knows he has what it takes to get it done. And he's shown that thus far, not giving up in any of the games he's been in. And he's on boobs early here. Very manageable third and two here for Beast Mode Mac. You got to watch the run. Man in motion. Uses up a lot of the play clock. Throws it over the middle. And that is swatted away, trying to go for the aggressive catch. Yeah, that was a risky throw on third and two. Kind of threw into traffic. Lucky for Beast Mode, the safety went for the swat instead of the interception. This surprising, RG, at all to you. Very conservative right here, going for the field goal oh, on no, fourth and two. No, 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 absolutely not. You need to get points. You have to against a guy like Boogs. This is a world-class player. You don't want that big run that you broke off earlier in the game to not mean anything. I like that move by Beast Mode Mack, and it also shows confidence in his defense. Let's see if they can hold up for him on this drive. As Boogs takes it out of the end zone, returns it to the 21-yard line, and takes a knee right there before getting hit. That's where he starts his drive. Down only 3-0. Pretty good there. A uh, little stand there in the red zone for Boogs to hold his opponent to only three. This is big for Boogs. Something Rico alluded to earlier before during pregame is he has never gotten come to a live event and not made it out of group play. He's in jeopardy of breaking that streak right now unless he can get himself a victory over Beast Mode Mac. Boogs knows the pressure is on, but if anybody's willing to step up against the pressure, this has been someone that's shown us he could do it time and time again. Boogs, of course, very capable of making a big play. That time it was almost Beast Mode making a big play. That was very close to being intercepted. The result is an incomplete pass, though. Yeah, and if you're Boogs, you'll take it. He threw into coverage right there. Luckily, the cornerback wasn't aggressive enough to jump in front of it. Instead, just broke the pass up. But good defense nonetheless by Beast Mode. Hand off to Stewart. Runs up the middle for a one-yard gain. Boogs not super excited about his wide receivers uh, in his draft. But he has an all right uh, squad there. As you see Jones, Kenny Stills. So he's got some speed. Kirk Cousins back, pressure off the left side, throws it up to Kelsey, oh. is tied in, who can't hang on to it. That ball bounced around a few people's hands before hitting the turf. And he's got himself in a fourth down situation early here, A. This is going to be an early momentum play. I call these momentum plays because this is a chance for someone to get blatant momentum of this game. This one's going to be big, A. Will Beast Mode get the stop or will Boots convert? Boogs flipping the play, fourth and nine. Big play here for Boogs, trying to advance. He's got a man on the corner route. Stills 
Hangs on to it. Great route right there, RG. And the throw with the precision of a watchmaker. Look at Boots slang the rock right here and get it right in between the flat zone and the safety. That's a perfect dot to beat cover 2A. That is exactly what you call that one, a dot. Back in the gun, Boogs staying alive here on this opening drive on that fourth down conversion. Cousins back, throwing to his left side, to his running back. Stewart breaks the tackle, but then finds his way out of bounds. You got to be happy if you're Boogs. You're moving the rock right now, but you don't want to keep getting yourself in those fourth down situations. Already got himself in one. You can only convert those so many times. He needs to keep picking up chunks and chunks against Beast Mode here. Eh? Cousins, another heater there from Beast Mode from the right side. So we're seeing a lot of blitzes here, trying to put the pressure on Boogs here early. And if you're Beast Mode Mac and you got the scouting report, that's something you want to do. Earlier in Boogs' game against Scheman, he was having a lot of trouble with the blitz. And that was the consensus in the crowd, as Boogs has trouble with a lot of those edge blitzes. So Beast Mode Mac trying to replicate that. and But Boogs doing a good job adjusting. Uh-oh! Big throw over the middle there to Williams with the grab and another first down there by Boogs. He's in that tricky area now inside the 25, RG. It becomes very stingy inside this area. I like what I'm seeing from him, though. Hey, it's business as usual with Boogs in this bunch offense. This is how I'm used to seeing him move the ball. Big chunks at a time. Stewart with the carry up the middle right there. See, Boogs, he's three for five for 47 yards. That's already better than we saw earlier against Scheme. And so Boogs obviously, obviously starting to get in the rhythm here, right? Eh? And on right wrong. side there, Stewart, who's brought down after he picks up the first. So Boogs just keeps on rolling now. And if you're at home, watch what Boogs is doing. He's opening up his run game with the passing game. He's been slanging it all day, making Beast Mode Mac have to commit to it, make all types of adjustments to try to take away these receivers, and then you go to the ground once you catch your opponent off guard. Cousins tries to hang on to it there. Interesting play call there by Boogs. Yeah, I love Boogs, but I don't know if we go read option to Kirk Cousins after Coleman's been carrying the ball as well he's been, as he has the last few plays. Yeah, that was an interesting play call indeed on the read option, but he only loses three, so second and 13. Cousins throwing a dot there to Kenny Stills. Great play, and it looks like he will pick up another first down, RG. On the one yard line, when we say dot for the people that are new to Madden, that means you found someone in space, you got him open, you cut, made the right read, and you executed the play. Great execution right there by Boots on the pass play. Goal line formation, Rodgers in motion. He's got Kelsey on the right side. All signs indicate a quarterback sneak, which he tries, and he's into the end zone, RG, for the touchdown. So Boogs is gonna take a seven to three lead, assuming the extra point. Yeah, it's a fantastic drive by Boogs. He let up the big run early. Beast Mode Mac marches right downfield and gets three, but then you get the ball back and march right downfield and get seven. That's how you maintain momentum, A, and stand up for yourself and make a statement early. I like where Boogs is at, but again, he needs to keep his foot on the gas. Beast Mode Mac has made comebacks all day long, and there's no quit in this kid. That's one thing that's very apparent when you watch him play, A. Beast Mode Mac, a.k.a. Matt Clark, the 24-year-old from Kansas City, Missouri. 24, I guess I shouldn't call him a kid, huh? Young man, there's no quit in this young he's, man. He's age. kind of a kid to these live tournaments, though. You, go, you, you, we talk point. about guys having Madden age and real age, and this is a guy who's sort of on the rookie end when it comes to these live events. First carry there by Crowell is only one yard. But yes, Matt Clark, a.k.a. Beast Mode Mac, ranked 38th in the Madden Series points rankings. He needs to get out of the group stage to really solidify his chances of making the Madden Championship and cracking that top 32. Yeah, at 38th place, getting out of group play will guarantee yourself an additional 25 Series points, which, probably, which will be enough to get him into that top 32 but he needs to try to make as deep a run as he could get because even if you're in that little 32 range, right. it's scary. There's more challenger events coming, but at the bare minimum, he needs to make it out of these groups if he wants a chance to see us later in April at the Madden Championship. Out of the gun. Pressure off the right side. 
And a big grab there by his wide receiver. Tony Romo completing the pass there for another first down. Beast Mode Mack is rolling now down at the 43. Back in the shotgun, man in motion. More pressure there on the cornerback blitz. And that causes enough a disruption for Tony Romer where he throws the incomplete pass. Good defense right there by Books. And if you don't think Books has some defense for the gun bunch offense, you gotta be crazy, eh? This dude stays in gun bunch all day long. He knows what to look for when he sees this formation. So Books very comfortable playing against the formation that Beast Mode Mac is in right now because it's the formation Books stays in pretty much exclusively when he's on offense. He definitely knows his opponent. I think Beast Mode Mac knew that coming into this game. He knew this was gonna be his hardest matchup of the group. Third and eight, this is gonna be a big one for Beast Mode, eh? He doesn't want to get himself in a fourth and uh, awkward situation, so you need to at least pick up a big chunk, at least six or seven right here to feel comfortable. Good dive. Beast Mode throwing it over the middle. Big play there for another first down on the third and eight. I'm pretty sure Boogs has worn a different uniform in every live tournament that we've had. I think he started with the Lions. Uh, but he's changed it up a lot. He wants to find that uniform. This time it's the Falcons. He's trying to find that uniform that's going to be uh, good luck for him. Well, he's showing some love to both of his. Uh, he grew up in Detroit is where he, he represents, but he currently resides in Georgia, Atlanta. So showing some love to, you know, both his places of residence. He has made his way around. His wife, he said, is a Steelers fan. He wore the Steelers uniforms in the Madden Classic. Also made it to the Steelers Club Series event. He did. Losing in the semifinals. Beast mode back in the gun. Able to protect his quarterback a little bit, but that that was a box right there, RG. He had nowhere to throw it. And for those that are new at Madden, they might see Beast Mode and look at him. Oh, that's an incomplete pass. That's a very smart play by Beast Mode right there. He threw the ball away. Too often when you're at home playing Madden, if you're a casual user, you force those passes and those cause turnovers. At this high level of play, you're going to see guys be smart enough to throw the ball away and lift the fight another down. That's exactly what we saw from Beast Mode Mac right there. Handoff here from Beast Mode. Oh, he has Vince plenty Vince. of space. Down to the right side, into the end zone, all by himself. And that is a touchdown. So Beast Mode Mac is now going to take the lead again. Look at him hit the corner, the perfect crispy stick work. Allen gets in for six. And he then, misses oh, the extra no. point. Oh. I almost said 10, but you cannot take those lightly. Oh no, Beast Mode, Mac, you can't do that. You've been fighting all day. You haven't been giving anybody an inch. You just put together the prolific crispy drive, and then we missed the extra point. We're playing high-level Madden here. Don't miss extra points, Beast Mode. No, can't do that. That's the type of things you do, A, and it can cost you games. There's little things that will lose you games, and missing extra points is one of them. It falls in that category. You know, sometimes you see these guys who are new to uh, the live stage not, you know, quite adapting to the slight differences in uh, the controls, especially kicking field goals. He misses that one, but it's still 9-7, to seven, and there's a fumble. And Boogs will hang on to it as he recovers the fumble. That was almost dangerous. Huge sack there oh, to force man. the fumble, but he does come back and jump on top of it, so Books hangs on to the football. Now looking at a second and 17, though. Blindsided hit on the quarterback. He crushed him right there, Ray. Back in the bunch. Cousins rolling right. Looking left. Finds Williams. Williams hit hard. They tell you, A, to never throw lane across the middle. He did right there, and that just that's the just gives you enough time for those safeties to rally down and make a play on the ball when it gets there. Certainly a dangerous throw for your wide receiver. Doesn't hang on to it that time. We see him sometimes come down with that, but uh, we're looking at a third and 17 yeah, now for Books. Big play. He needs a chunk. You can't just go for it on fourth and 17. So Boots needs to get a chunk here, especially being down two points. You don't want to give Beast Mode Mac the ball back when you're already down two points, because if he scores a touchdown, that would make it two possession game, and that would give Beast Mode all types of momentum. He has a man, and oh, still, does he get both feet in and 
pick up the first he does. They are going to mark him with a first down. And look at this replay, AJ, and he throws his receiver open right there before the pressure gets there. Tippy toe on the sideline. Make it happen, Fuji. Beautiful play there towards the sideline by Boogs. This time he hands the ball off just to keep Beast Mode on it. And did you see that? Hey, it's third and 17, and Boogs doesn't even blink. No emotion, nothing. The kid is focused, he's locked in, and he knows what he's doing, and he doesn't let the pressure get to him. He, as a matter of fact, he told me he performs best under pressure, and if there's ever a pressure situation, it's your back against the wall, being one and one in the groups. Like Big run now. there. So Boogs with another first down as we approach the two-minute warning here of the first half. Beast Mode Mack, though, leading this one 9-7. He starts his game with a field goal, then gets the touchdown, but misses the extra point following Boog's first touchdown. And, and he gave up he gave up the third and 17. As a Madden player, that's very frustrating. You were close to getting full momentum, and then you give up a play like that, you need to regain composure immediately and get back to trying to lock up and getting Boog's back in an awkward situation, because right now he is just marching down the field. He's given up a couple of late down and long situations so far to Boogs. Boogs seems to thrive in those situations. He kind of likes that space. Second and two now for Boogs out of the gun. Kenny Stills being motioned left. Hands the ball off to Stewart. Stewart, plenty of space off the right side. Picks up another first. Yeah, and that's a read option play right there, AJ. He has the option to either give it to Stewart or keep it with his quarterback and start running. But we already saw what happened when he kept his, kept it with Kirk Cousins, got his quarterback hit one time, does the smart thing right there, and gets the ball to Jonathan Stewart. Stills in motion again. Darren McFadden in the backfield this time for Books. Kirk Cousins back looking right, throwing to Kenny Stills again on that out route. And he gets both feet in for just short of a first down, second and three. And Boogs doesn't even blink. You seen that? Didn't even blink, eh? Locked in. Serious contender right here. He's been here before. Kenny Stills again in motion. He likes to put that man in motion and then throw that route. Nice play there by Boogs for another first. Threw him open. He threw it before the receiver broke on his cut. As you see on the replay, ball goes out, receiver cuts, and throws him open. That's something you see at the elite level of Madden, eh? You see it in the elite in the NFL as well. Understanding the, the timing of those knows. routes is super important, isn't it? And the way he mixed that play up was phenomenal. Usually you motion that uh, flanker receiver in, and then he breaks to the inside. That time he broke outside, away from Beast Mode Max, Beast Mode Max user, and that's why he was able to convert it for the first down. Great play by Boots. It gets stingy down here, though, eh? This is where things really get stingy, as Scott Cole likes to refer this to. This is the dead zone. It gets really hard to get in and get uh, big chunks of yardage in this situation because you have so little field to work with. Cousins trying to run up the middle back into the pocket, and finally the defensive tackle breaks free for the sack. Yeah, all of a sudden you're on the 15-yard line and you can't tough, really stretch break. them DBs. You can't really stretch the field. You have a minimal amount of space that you could squeeze these passes in. Look at beast mode, Mac. Look at that focus. You know what? His, we've been talking about it all day. That kid has one of the best Madden faces he really I've does. ever seen. It's scary focus, eh? I call it focused rage. He looks upset like he wants to get at you. But before he loses his cool, he's going to stay locked in at the task at hand and take it out on you on the sticks. Throw left here to Jonathan Stewart. Stewart Situation. brought down just shy of a first down. Books trying to manage this clock. He does have two timeouts, but he's now looking at a fourth and two, and it looks like he may not be kicking the field goal here. No, he's going to kick the field goal. It's, uh, it's, he's going to kick the field goal, eh? It's phenomenal clock management by Books. You see over here that uh, my guy, Beast Mode Mac, he has no timeouts. You see that right there? So what's going to happen is Boogs is going to take the clock all the way down as much as he can, kick a field goal, leaving Beast Mode a minimal amount of time to make anything happen, and go into the second half up one point, bearing anything tragic. Great Boogs. clock management. Boogs doing a Great. good job controlling the clock here. 
Beast Mode using all three of his timeouts. Of course, we always encourage that as he can't take him with you to the second half, but this time Boogs looking for a one-point lead. Does he have the distance on this one? And he does, and the accuracy. That is good. So Boogs will take a 10-9 lead over Beast Mode Mac with 10 seconds remaining here in the first half. Yeah, you just have to watch out, watch out for a kick return and a Hail Mary. And if you're Boogs, you got to be feeling pretty good about this first half getting out of here with the lead. Uh-oh. The it's return rolling. here by Beast Mode takes it out of bounds at the 29. So a good return there. Picks up an extra four yards. This is where you back up all the coverage. A court is three deep, man up three deep. Back up your coverage. Do the over-the-top coverage adjustment. All my, you know, Madden heads know what I'm talking about right there. You back them all up. You see that? Look at that. Three safeties back. Everyone back off the line. Even the linebacker just not going to give up the big play. Looking into triple coverage. Cannot come down with it. Tried to swerve a little bit there, beast mode. Cannot hang on to it. So 10 to nine, the score here at the half. Boogs leading beast mode, Mac. This is a phenomenal game, AJ. It's everything I, w I expected in this. We got two world-class competitors with a lot to fight for, and neither one of them has given the other one an inch, maybe besides that extra point that beast mode, Mac missed. All right. All right, with that, we are at halftime. Let's throw it over to Tyler, who has our report. All right, thanks, AJ. Appreciate that. Guys, can't wait for the second half in this one. This first half, though, very tight. We thought it would be. Crucial mistake, though, by Beast Mode to miss that extra point. Rico, is that going to hurt him in the end? Absolutely. You can't leave points on the table. That extra point, he's missed a couple so far. He needs to lock in, concentrate, and make the most of these opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Farles, we have a very exciting game going on on the other side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights from Scheman and Shugs. This is the last game in group stage. Points are critical. Fumble, Ruski, Shugs picks it up, grabs it. Tyvon Branch, his Raider, bro, and then Frank Gore from the U. He goes 70 yards to put Shugs up 7-0, but Scheman would battle back. He'd grab a field goal before the half, and he has now taken a 10-7 lead. That game is in the third quarter, all eyes on it. Max over there trying to figure out how many points he needs. <laughs> all he's got to do is win, just like DJ Khaled. But Boogs... Point differential, we'll get into all of that in the second half of these games. Absolutely, though, folks, remember, uh, Xbox One S is the ultimate games and 4K entertainment system for Madden NFL. 17 fans play with friends on Xbox Live, the fastest and most reliable gaming network, and watch 4K Blu-ray movies. Now, guys, we got to get a tip from one of the OGs. Mr. Shugs himself is going to tell you a little bit about how he plays Madden football. My name is Andrew Shugart. I go by Shugs. My pro tip for you, if you've been using your D-line, I recommend going to your linebacker. It's going to make your defense that much better. There you go. He's, uh, you know, following his own advice right now. You got to lurk it. I mean, you get an Anthony Barr, you get a Bud Dupree, you get some guys out there, get off that defensive line, get to the linebacker position. You see those user lurk picks. They've been big today. Great tip from Shugs. All right, before we get back to Drea, I want to tell you guys, give you a little bit of an update uh, as we take a look at the standings right here. Uh, as you see, we're about to finish off Group A, Beast Mode, Boogs, second half to come, and of course, Dubby Skimbo. We're looking at that stick work, uh, and of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Joe Rice in that next one. So before we get to Drea, I know you guys are wondering at home how this is going to work out in Group A. This is always fun. We get to play the math and figure out exactly who's going to move on. So as it stands right now, uh, Beast Mode, if he wins, he's in. He'll be 3-0, obviously. Scheming, if he wins, Beast Mode beats Bugs, he's in. Or if he loses to Shugs by less than nine points, he's in. Follow me on the math there, I know. Uh, Bugs, if he wins and Scheming loses, then Bugs will be in. So... Uh, there's a lot of people that need to win, basically is what I'm saying. That's all you need to know about that. But we're going to about to uh, get to the second half right now. So let's go ahead and send it to Drea, who is on the field right now, talking to one of the players. Thanks, Tyler Boogs. Great clock management down the stretch right there in the first half. How do you capitalize on that momentum in the second? I wish I would have got seven at the end of that uh, quarter. But I mean, I'm happy with being up. As long as I come out in the second half and execute, I, sh I should be in a good position. 
You mentioned executing in the second half. I know you love the pressure. What is that pressure crunch time mentality on both sides of the ball in the second? You need this one. Do what you do. Do what you do. Let's send it to the casters, guys. Thank you, Drea. RG, I'm excited about the second half, though. Beast mode versus Boogs. Boogs taking the lead late there in the first half. What do you look to see from both these players in the second? Not much different. I mean, both of them, instead of a missed extra point, this is a tie ball game. They're both playing very good Madden. When you got guys that are playing on this high of a level, sometimes it's just so equal that it's going to take one or two plays that are going to make the difference of it. We don't really know what, what that's going to be yet, but they need to just both stay focused and not give each other an inch because this game is so close, eh? It's anyone's ball game. As far as the mentality goes, uh, if you're Boogs, you start this group stage 0-1. How hard is it to bounce back from that? He's done it so far. He picked up a win in his second game, and now he's leading in this one. When we talked about that yesterday with Boogs, he knew that he could st start the, the, the bracket off 0-1 because he had a tough game in scheming. The quote he told me is, even if I go 0-1, I will not go on tilt, RG. I will stay focused, and I will get the job done. And he has a chance to do that, but not when you're throwing picks on the first drive to start the half and give Beast Mode Matt back the momentum. Boogs! And when we're talking about plays that might define a game, this is one that I'm talking about. Look at the lurk by Beast Mode Max, taking away the middle of the field, getting big with C.J. Mosley. Use a lurk is what we call that. I like that the way act. he pretended like he was blitzing with Mosley, using that linebacker, just as we saw in that Shugs uh, tip. He used that linebacker, pretended like he was coming in on the blitz, and then backed up and caught that interception. There you go, Ed. So first and ten here for Beast Mode who takes the ball right away from Boogs here in the second half. Boogs in good position with the one-point lead to extend that, but he doesn't, throwing an interception. Well, if you're Beast Mode, Mac, you're very happy because you got that interception close to field goal range. You only need about 10 yards to guarantee yourself a good field goal attempt where you could retake the lead. So that was huge, not just the interception, but the field position that he got with it, but he needs to capitalize. So Romo back. Throwing to the right side, Larry Fitzgerald with the grab. That is that Thanksgiving edition of Tony Romo. 89 overall quarterback. He's worked out so far. Look at the focus of the Mac. Look at the focus of the boots. High-level competitors locked in right there, eh? Interesting thing about Beast Mode is he doesn't necessarily project that much confidence when you're talking to him. I even told him last night, I was like, hey, man, you can... Eat. Give me a little bit of that cockiness that you see from guys like Dubby and said it's just not his style. It's not his style to talk like that. He's a very respectful guy. He respects the other guys in this competition, but uh, he is very confident. You can tell that today, how confident he is in his game when he stands up and scores. Let's see how confident he is in this field goal. This is going to be a long one here from the 36-yard line. I think it's going to be money. Beast mode looking Close. for three. That is good. That's that big. is good to give him a two-point lead over Boogs. So, big play there. Could have been worse for Boogs after the interception, but when you talk keeps it within two points. When you talk about his confidence, AJ, both of these guys are very similar in that regard, where they have a strong belief in themselves and what they can do and, they're, and what they're capable of. But neither one of them really projects it. They keep it to themselves. They don't need to tell everybody, hey, I'm the best in the world. I'm going to blow you out. They let their game do the talking. And that's what they have both With done this With this two-point ball game, that extra point, though, RG, that missed extra point by Beast Mode could loom as we uh, get down to the end of this game. We will see how that pans out. Right now, though, Books down two points. Starts over at the 22-yard line, picks up one on that first carry. Yeah, and there's a lot at stake here. Beast Mode Matt's trying to fight to get into the Madden Championship. Knows he needs to get out of groups. Boots trying to keep his streak of constantly getting out of groups at every live event alive. Try to accomplish his dream of finally winning a live event. Being a champion, he's sick of the Final Fours. He's sick of the Final Eights. But in order to make that championship run, he's going to have to probably get by the Beast Mode Mac. Boogs throwing this one away as pressure got through on the right side as he tried to extend the play outside the pocket. So nice play there by Boogs to let go of the football. 
Second and ten now. Fortunate for Beast Mode Mac that the pressure got there because Boots had a rough flying up the sideline that got behind the flat zone. Just not enough time to set his feet and get the pass off. But on the right side there, Cousins completes the pass and a nice little dot there for another first down. Terrence Williams with the grab. And Boogs gets in these rhythms, AJ, where his offense can be so hard to stop. We were at the Steelers Club Series, and he was going up against a player named Steeler. Steeler comes up to me after the game, and he said, RG, he just hit a rhythm where I just felt like I had no chance to stop him. And Boogs' his offense is that prolific where he can get in that zone. If you're Beast Mode Max, you want to do things like this and disrupt him, send in the heat. And now Boogs has something to think about is he's going to have a second and 20, a eh? Big defensive play by Beast Mode Mac. Right when I'm trying to say Boogs is getting in the rhythm, Beast Mode Max says, slow it down, G. He does tend to like to get send that pressure on first down. Kenny Stills in motion. Cousins picking up the pressure on the left side. Another wide open man. It's Williams. Both feet in. Another first down on that out route. You need to get pressure on Boogs. If you give him time to sit back there, he is too good on offense at finding the open man. Eventually, he's going to put drives like this together. And off to Jonathan Stewart. Stewart breaking a couple tackles there up the middle. Bouncing around like a pinball, picks up a first down. Something that's very nice about this run is you see him motion the receiver in and then runs the ball. Before that run, when he was motioning that receiver in, he was passing the ball. So it gives his opponent the same look of a pass play, but then runs it to keep him off balance. Good play calling by Boogs right there, Edge. And off to Jonathan Stewart. Pick up a four yards. Folks, 11 for 15, 155 yards with a touchdown, as you see right there on the screen. And that looks like he's starting to get into rhythm to me. And he's taking uh, your tip before the game, slaying the rock. That's what you said. Slaying the rock around, that's what he's doing. Yep. Out of the gun, four seconds on the play clock. Man in motion, handoff again to Jonathan Stewart. Bogues running the ball pretty consistently here. Trying to keep beast mode honest. This is gonna, but that will force a third and five. This is going to be a big third down here, eh? Because this isn't two down territory where most players like to go for it on fourth down. If you don't get this first down right here, if you're Boogs, you have to think he needs to kick the field goal to take the lead. So this is a big third down for him to keep this drive going, and he gets hit. Pressure in the gap. So a nice blitz there on third and five from Beast Mode. And Boogs will likely kick the field goal here. Gibbs likes to call it the fig. RG, talk to me about the strategy of this. You know, a lot of guys uh, criticize some of these guys for not kicking more field goals. We've seen a lot of them in this game, not punting more often. Uh, you know, we try to explain this to new viewers of Madden, but it looks like Hold the Meanwhile, <laughs> Books will go for it on fourth down, and we'll come back to that. Cousins over the middle. He has stills, and he picks up the first down. Wow, he has ice in his veins like he's Tommy Ball game in the fourth quarter on a drive right there. Hey, he didn't even think twice. Goes for it on fourth down instead of kicking the field goal to take a one-point lead. That was a savage play call right there, AJ. Handoff up the middle to Jonathan Stewart. You can really tell. The beast mode is trying to go for the strip, looking for a turnover again. Bogues with one interception so far in the ball game, throwing one interception. Beast mode, no turnovers yet as time expires on the third quarter. We got the fourth quarter, AJ. This this game is a good one. His fires. The kids like to say things are quite litty right now. So far, so good in these games here in Group A. Just a reminder, we've got some great ones in Group B coming up. We've got W and Skimbo. If you're Beast Mode Mac right now, AJ, you got to watch for the run. You got to watch for a deep post going uh, into the back of the end zone. And you got to watch for the motion wheel by Matthews. Because he's going to motion Matthews. Yep, there's the wheel route. You saw the play art. Matthews out wide. There it is. Looking to Kelsey. Kelsey trying to roll into the end zone just shy of the goal line. 
And that's what a lot of people like to do in the red zone, AJ. You get down there, things get so stingy. Sometimes you need to just throw a high ball to one of those grizzly tight ends and let him go make a play. That's what Kelsey did right there. Gives Boots the ball on the one yard line. Will we see another quarterback sneak? We do. Falls into the end zone. Boogs with another touchdown there on the quarterback sneak, but he gives Beast Mode plenty of time here. And again, the storyline right now, Boogs and Beast Mode just exchanging shots here, going back and forth in this ball game. Yeah, this game is fantastic. If you're Beast Mode, Mac, you have to be pretty frustrated, though, that you were able to get the interception on Boogs and not turn it into a touchdown. Because even though he's winning the turnover battle, uh, Boogs still finds himself up right now. Beast Mode taking that one out of the end zone. Pushed out of bounds at the 24-yard line, so just shy of where the touchback would have brought him. Five-point ball game, though. You know, Beastmo needs to get more than just that one touchdown by Duke Johnson. That's his only touchdown so far this game. And there is one, Isaiah Crowell. Boom! Crowell, plenty of time. Jones on his heels, though. Will he make it into the end zone? He does. As Jones runs out of steam. Wow, you want to talk about answering back? You think you got momentum, Boots? Let me get on my horse and take all that momentum right back, and now you have to go put together a prolific drive because I scored in one play, and that's his second big run of the game, AJ. He said the halfback was important to him, and he's showing you why. Crowell getting him big chunks of yardage in this game. This late in the game, at what point, RG, do you see Beast Mode potentially going for two? There's a block. block. Oh, a no. block field oh, goal. No. Taylor has oh, it. Oh, no. Taylor at the 40, the 30, the 20, 10, 5 end zone. And that is a free two points for Boogs. Woo. Things can change so fast. You, you, ever, you ever play tug of war, AJ? <laughs> It's like I'm the, not very good at it's it. It's like the rope is momentum, and they're just pulling it back and forth to see who's going to keep it. And if you're beast mode, Mac, you got to be so frustrated because the thing that's preventing you from being in the lead of this game is special teams, specifically on the PAT. You've lost a point by missing the PAT, and then you give up two points by allowing your PAT to get blocked and taken the other way. That's three points he's missing out on strictly off of special teams and extra points. Boogs, at one point in this group, was looking very close to being 0-2 and, and big comebacks in both games. That is a huge field goal block right there by Boogs. I almost thought we might see a two-point attempt I was thinking the same thing. By to, Beast Mode, I but he's been thinking, playing very conservative. The two-point attempt to make it at least a three-point game. Instead, he's down one, and Boogs has the ball. The thing that that does is take a lot of pressure off Boogs because now, instead of being forced to get it at least in the field goal range. That extra point block was absolutely huge. As we see it again, Taylor recovering the football and returning it all the way down. So what would have been a lead for Beast Mode results in a lead for Boogs instead after the touchdown by Beast Mode. Yeah, and I was saying, Boogs doesn't even need to worry about getting into field goal range because he's up. This is going to be awkward, though, A. This is a situation. We have a situation on our hands here. I believe you call this a fourth and awkward. This is fourth and awkward for sure, AJ. So Boogs with a one-point lead here in the fourth oh, quarter. Oh, no. If you're beast mode, Mac, you could get all kinds of momentum right here if you could force a stop. He's been doing a good job at getting pressure on Boogs, but Boogs, again, he's picked up a lot of these late down situations. Biggest player of the Third game thus far, eh? You got to watch out for this area of the field, that corner route right over there. Boogs dove, does love to throw it over there. Might see that out route as well. Cousins back. No pressure. Back Throwing throw. it over the middle. I don't know about Back that throw. throw. That's tough. Oh, no. Very uncharacteristic throw from Boogs. Kind of just lobbed it up there and buckled under the pressure. And Beast Mode Mac in field goal range. And if you're Beast Mode Mac, you got to take your time here and make sure you at least get three points. Oh, you can go for seven. Bad stick work. Almost looked like a mistake. Not just a mental mistake, but actually pushing the wrong button. I, I, I just don't see Books 
throw passes like that very often. So kind of a surprise there on fourth and eight from Boogs. He does not complete the pass. Turns the ball over on downs. Beast Mode Mack with a three yard carry here with three minutes to go here in the ball game. Down one, definitely in field goal range. Hand off from the eye, Crowell. AJ. Wrangled there at the 22. AJ, this feels like one of those boxing matches or MMA fights where if you're the judge, you have no idea how to score this thing. It's just been so close the entire time. So many momentum shifts, so many lead changes. Talk about a good game to and end when the you, group, and, huh? and when you try to predict things, too, they just keep proving me wrong, right? As I'm saying, Beast Mode hasn't been scoring touchdowns. He's taken extra field goals, and then he scores that long touchdown. Then he gives up the extra point with the block field or blocked extra point. Here he goes up the middle again. Crowell juking back outside. And he's brought down at the eight-yard line, but another first down and a fresh set for Beast Mode Mack. Well, they're getting excited there over on the other station as well, AJ. It's starting to get it's starting to get rowdy in here at Burbank ESL. The Madden Challenge is starting to turn up, eh? This is Beast Mode Max, first live event of the year. Oh, so much on the line right now. If you're Beast Live Mode, major event anyway. He's been to Vegas and some of those smaller ones. He did say that he would probably be looking to play out here in Los Angeles and in Austin if he doesn't get out of these groups. Oh, and if you're Beast Mode Mac, imagine the situation where if you were to lose this game, Scheme into was to win his game versus Shugs. Boog was able to beat you, and you didn't make it through point differential and didn't advance. That would be devastating. Now, oh, tough he as he fumbles the football. My goodness, that could have been bad for Beast Mode. Was this a user hit? No, the AI comes in and takes out the legs, and luckily the fullback picks it up for Beast Mode. That would have been tragic for him, AJ. And you got to remember, Boog starting to lose those timeouts right there. We're getting down to the nitty gritty, AJ. Here we go, here we go. Good so Romo breaks the huddle here. The good news for Boog is he can't, is Beast Mode cannot get another first down, AJ, so he will get the ball back no matter what. Tony Romo backpedaling, wow. throwing. He has a wow. man in the end zone. Touchdown, Beast Mode Mac. That is Larry Fitzgerald with the grab. Wow, look how. Look how open he gets running free on the end line. I wish I could get my guys that open in the red zone, AJ. I don't think <laughs> I've gotten someone that open in the red zone all year. But that's why these guys are up on the main stage. It is stage very and we're difficult here. to do. If you play Madden 17, you know how difficult it can be to that's get funny. those routes open there in the red zone. And both these guys, such pros at doing that. And look at this. Beast Mode Max says, enough of this PAT drama. I'm going to go for two and make this a seven-point game. I like this call by Beast Mode Mac. Unfortunately, he had to use a timeout. He may need that time timeout later on, but I think this is the right call. This is a big play. There's a big difference between five and seven, A. Big play here. Boogs needs a big stop. This is huge. Roma under center. Fakes the handoff. Good Thrown points. to the back of the end zone, and he has the two-point conversion. So Beast Mode Mac doing what he probably should have done on his last drive there. Beast As we see that play action throwing it in the back of the end zone, RG, to complete the two points. Beast Mode Mac is a savage. That's the play that Boogs likes to run when he goes for two. Beast Mode Mac takes his own play, uses it against them, and makes it a touchdown ball game. Boogs doesn't have, only has one timeout left. He pretty much needs to score on this drive to keep himself alive in this tournament. So a good job by Beast Mode to nullify that missed extra point. And with both missed extra points, he had one blocked and one he missed. Oh, stiff arm! Kelsey with a big stiff arm, trying to do it twice against Sean Taylor. Finally, Taylor brings him down at the 48-yard line. Still plenty of time here for Boogs. Down by seven now. He would have preferred it to be a five-point ball game. And we mentioned this earlier, AJ. Boog says he plays his best under pressure. He likes being under pressure. It doesn't get any more pressure than this, eh? Boogs with a home run play against Shugs in his last game. Good defense. Cousins throws it to Stills. Stills has been his best wide receiver so far today. 
A nine yard pickup on that play with 108 remaining. Books running no huddle here. And also be, he's cautious of the clock as well, AJ. This is, an, he wants this to be the last possession of the fourth quarter. He doesn't want to give Beast Mode, he doesn't want to score and give Beast Mode Mac time to get the ball back. But if Look you can get deep, six, you I don't know about it. that. He thought he had the speed. That was, that was kind of a situation where Kenny Stills just ran out of space in the football field. Might have let the ball hang in the air for too long, gave the safety enough time to recover and make a play over there. Probably needed to put a little bit, little bit more, a uh, little more, little bit uh, more bullet on that one, AJ. So third and one, sort of an awkward territory to throw that deep route. Sometimes it works out for you, but it's tough. Especially as they have to wait for it, and then that safety comes over. So a big wow. stop there on third and one. Definitely four down territory here for Boogs. All out of timeouts, though. This is it. This is it. This is for the game. If you're Beast Mode Mac and you want to advance, you stop them on fourth and three. If you're Boogs and you want to continue to fight and make a run and continue your streak of getting, into, getting out of group play, you need to make this first down. Comes down to this, eh? Back in the shotgun, Boogs playing to Detroit, Detroit. advance right now. Kenny Stills motioned out right. Cousins has plenty of time, throwing into coverage, and Whoa! Jones comes down with it. Big play by big play by Boogs to hang on to it. He's got 36 seconds remaining though, and no timeouts. Wow, bad read. Bad read by Boogs, throws it into a crowd, but his receiver goes up and makes a play. That's a tough break for Beast Mode Mac. But Throwing you, over the middle there. But you know what, AJ? Tough breaks go both ways. It's something that you, you see a lot of in Madden, and you gotta be able to fight through that stuff. If you're Beast Mode Mac, you need to get that play out of your head and just focus on defense and the task at hand. So Boogs needs to win by six. We have just heard he needs to win by six. Scheming will be in if, if, if not. Good defense. Big stop you, there by, big stop there. AJ, you can't hold the ball that long with the quarterback when the clock is ticking. There's so little time left into this game. If you're Boogs, you need to be aware of it, and every second counts. He probably has two plays maximum here, eh? One second on the play clock. Cousins rolling right, pressure on his heels, throwing. Kelsey cannot hang on to it. As you hear the crowd here at the studio, they thought Boogs might have it. Everybody's heart just skipped the beat on that one, AJ. Kelsey has it and then drops it in traffic. You see three defenders around him. That's a tough catch to make. So there is wow. the game right there as Boogs cannot do it. Scheming is in, Beast Mode is in. Boogs is out here in group play for the first time in the 2016-2017 Madden Championship Series. Boogs is not gonna advance past the group stage, RG. Yeah, you have to hats off to Boogs, but you have to give credit to Beast Mode Mac, the kid fight. The young man fights back from 17 points in his first two games, has a missed extra point, a blocks extra point return for two, and still finds a way to win this game against one of our top 10 players on the circuit in Boogs. I think Beast Mode Mac was looking for respect, and he just earned it. I think it was especially impressive how well he stayed in that ball game despite the two blocks, or the blocked field goal and the extra point miss. So big game there. Drea has our winner.
Thanks, AJ Bisma. Congratulations. You showed a lot of confidence. 3-0. and RG said it. You played like a savage. Describe your emotions being undefeated today in this group. Uh, it feels great. I put in a lot of work to do this, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm in the last tournament as well with the extra 125 MCS points, so that's huge. <laughs> Wow, and I know that you said earlier that being this is that this is your first live event for Madden for the year, you want a lot more respect. You don't feel like you're getting respect in the Madden community. Do you think this performance today raised the level and that people are going to put more respect on your name? I mean, haters are going to be haters. Everybody I play with knows how good I am, so, I mean, there it is. There it is. He said haters are going to be haters. Let's send it to Tyler and the guys. All right. Thank you, Drea. Appreciate that. Hey.